A recent update from Seismic Trackers is that a large 4.1 magnitude earthquake has been detected in Montana, just 50 miles northeast of Billings, Yellowstone County, Montana. This is just the latest update in regards to earthquakes detected in and around the Yellowstone area, with locals saying that this one was felt in the surrounding areas. Volcanic Discovery along with other websites have reported that the 4.1 magnitude earthquake was detected by the United States Geological Survey. Volcanic Discovery reported that the earthquake occurred at a depth of 6.2 miles, and this happened in the early hours of the morning on Tuesday 6th July 2021, with residents then coming forward and saying that they felt the earthquake in the surrounding areas. Local towns said that the shaking had been found, but the United States Geological Survey said this earthquake wouldn't have caused any damage to nearby areas. Another earthquake that measured in at 3.1 was detected south of Yellowstone, measuring above the usual 0.5 to 1.2 earthquakes that are normally detected around the area. One of the things that's been reported on is the large increase of earthquakes detected around Yellowstone Lake, but oddly enough the United States Geological Survey isn't reporting on them, with the data showing us that this has been going on now for the last few weeks. Seismic trackers around the lake are picking up on the tremors, but there's been no official comment from the United States Geological Survey. Yellowstone Lake has been showing an increase with these quakes, with the most recent one being detected at 3 this morning. Those who've been following the quakes, the increase in volcanic flow and bulge at Yellowstone, have all been asking the same question. Why is the United States Geological Survey hiding some of these earthquakes and not reporting on them? One user said the following, We can clearly see that the seismic trackers inside Yellowstone are picking up on these tremors, yet in some cases the USGS is not talking about them. They're the ones who tell people not to worry about these quakes and that they will not affect surrounding areas, yet they're not commenting on some of them. It's a bit confusing and I can see why people are starting to question what's going on. While another person said this, Is the United States Geological Survey ever going to cover this and update people about what's going on? Maybe they don't want to raise the alert as they don't want people flooding out of the area, but I still think there should be better communication about what's going on. Even if it's to tell people that they have nothing to worry about, the silence is definitely strange. This person had this to say. I live 14 minutes from Yellowstone and I felt this earthquake. In fact, so much so that it actually woke me up. Interesting, the attention has now been shifted to Yellowstone Lake and all of its recent activity. And even the United States Geological Survey has admitted that the lake is anything but quiet. The USGS said the following on their website. Earthquake swarms sequences of elevated earthquake activity with no clear main shock are common at Yellowstone and many other places. Swarms occur in a variety of volcanic and tectonic settings and have several possible causes. Some swarms are driven by slow fault slips that causes earthquakes and this is on a few sticky patches of the fault. Other swarms are generated when magma filled cracks push their way through the crust, and perhaps most commonly swarms can be generated when water enters and interacts with pre-existing faults in the crust. Sometimes combinations of these mechanisms might be active in a given swarm. At a volcano everyone wants to know is the swarm driven by magma? This question is particularly pressing if the swarm is occurring at shallow depths within a couple of miles of the surface, because a shallow magma-driven swarm could potentially be a precursor to an eruption." End quote. This is one of the things that people worry about, that this increase in magma movement and earthquakes are a sign that an eruption could be on the horizon. These worries aren't baseless either. In fact, a map showing the ground around Yellowstone has deformed over the last two years and this was officially released by the United States Geological Survey. One of the researchers said the following, The uplift in subsidence is usually interpreted as due to addition of deep magma, 
related gases and water depths of 5 to 15 kilometers or 3 to 9 miles beneath the ground surface. This cycle of uplift and subsidence is common and seems tied to earthquake swarms, that is, swarms appear to release the pressure that caused the uplift, thus allowing the region to return to a period of subsidence. End quote. The US National Park Service has insisted that these swarms are nothing to worry about, although, as highlighted by some, they haven't made any comments on the recent earthquakes that are three magnitude and greater, with some saying that they might be running some tests in order to see if any surrounding areas have been affected. After all, just because past swarms didn't affect certain areas, it doesn't mean that the new swarms can't do damage. The United States Geological Survey said the following about this movement. Over long periods of time, water flowing through small fractures decomposes rocks in a process called weathering. Once a rock has been weathered, triggers such as three to four cycles, flowing water temperature variations, vegetation growth and other factors can cause cracks in rocks to grow rapidly and possibly break free and fall. After discovering this, park officials have been forced to close areas off. Superintendent David Vailer said the following, Human safety is our number one priority, and with an abundance of caution we are temporarily closing this area until we can properly assess the situation. As of right now, people are still watching the data and hoping that the increase in activity slows down. So what do you make of the increased activity at Yellowstone and the fact that the earthquakes seem to be increasing in magnitude as the weeks go on? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.